the pitch hasn't changed. And the big lamp doesn't light up. Why not? I just don't understand. Try again, Cliff. Two, three, the angle of the overlap of the positive axis. I don't understand at all. Cosine, cosine, all correct. Ah, oh, I'm sick to death of Ivan the Terrible and his bells. Anyway, if I could, I'd unscrew the head of anyone who installs that kind of receiver. I told him I'll make him a new one if only he takes it down. There's no time for this. Right, where was I? Cosine? Wait, uh, no, the building superintendent. <laughs> Ulyana Andreevna, where is your most precious husband? What? Ulyana Andreevna, you know I've been asking him to take down his radio. What? Take down his radio. Tell him to be patient and I'll fix him up with a new receiver. He'll get signal from Australia. Tell him that his Ivan the Terrible torments me and it crackles the whole radio set. Crackles! I don't have time for this, and there's bells in my head. You what? Never mind! Where was I? Cosine? I've got a headache. Ooh, where's Zena? Let's see. Oh, what a strange man. In red gloves. What does he want? No, I'll try again. Cosine and bells, cosine and bells, bells that is, cosine. Yeah. Ring, 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 ring. Here's the music. to seriously fear that he's going to go mad with that instrument. Oh, poor man. Oh, and now he's about to take another blow. Oh, I've been divorced three times. Well, yes, three times. I don't count zoots in. But, oh, well, I've never been this nervous. I can't imagine what's about to happen. Anything but a scandal. Oh, scandals are so exhausting. Oh, well, onwards. Better to sever the knot straight away. Nikki, open up. Oh, devil take it. Who is it now? Nikki, it's me. Nikki, you're still up? Oh, that instrument's going to kill you. You can't carry on like this. Oh, and excuse me, but my acquaintances assert that it's impossible to see the past or the future. It's a crazy idea, darling. Utopia. I'm not convinced, Sinatra, that your acquaintances know much about the subject. 
You need to be a specialist for that. Oh, I'm sorry, Nicky, but there are some brilliant specialists among my acquaintances. Please understand, it's just a little mistake somewhere, darling. I can feel it, I can sense it. It's around here somewhere. It's knocking about here somewhere, and I'm going to catch it. Oh no, he's a saint. Oh, okay. Forgive me for bothering you, but I must inform you of some terrible news. Oh no, I just, I can't. Someone swiped my red gloves at the cafe today. Oh, how funny, you know, I put them on the table and, and, oh, I love someone else. Nicky. Oh no, I, I can't. I suspect the neighbouring table, well, do you understand me? Uh, 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 no, uh, what table? Oh, Lord, you've gone completely silly with that instrument. Uh, well, your gloves, what gloves? Oh, forget the gloves. I love another. It's over. Just don't try to stop me and don't make a scene. Oh, why must there always be drama when people break up? Don't you agree, Nicky, <laughs> that it's not necessary? Oh, this finally feels real, and everything else in my life has been a mistake. Who is he, you ask? Of course, you must think that it's Moljanovsky. <laughs> no, prepare yourself. He's a film director. Very talented. Let, now let's not play hide and seek any more, Timothy. It's Yakin. Now, oh, well, this is strange. Now this is a first. He's told that his wife's cheating on him, and I really am cheating on him. But well, oh, it's actually kind of rude. Uh, he's a, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, a tall blonde? Oh, no! This is just ridiculous! To neglect your wife to such an extent! The blonde is Molchanovsky, remember? And Yakin! Oh, he's very talented. Where are we going to live, you ask? Oh, well, at 5pm, I'm going to Gagra with him to choose a place to film. Then when we return, they're going to give him a new apartment in a new house. <laughs> if he's not lying, of course. He's probably lying. Oh, how stupid! To insult someone out of jealousy! Oh, how, how can you assume that? I've been sleepless the past few nights, thinking, and I've reached the conclusion that we're not suited for each other. I'm immersed in cinema, in art, in you and your instrument. But really, I am shocked by your calmness. I even kind of want to make a scene. Well then. I packed earlier so that I don't torment you. And please, I need money for travelling. I'll return it to you when I get to the Caucasus. Here's, um, 153 rubles. I don't have any more. Would you look in the pocket of your jacket? There's nothing in the jacket. <laughs> well, kiss me. Goodbye, Nicky. I'm actually quite sad. After all, we did live together for a whole eleven months. I can't believe it. I really can't. But keep me registered for now, all right? Anything could happen. Then again, you'd never be so mean. Ugh, how can anyone work under these conditions? <sighs> Good day, Comrade Timofeyev. Um, has Ivan Vasilovich visited you? No. Oh, and can you tell Zinaida Mikhailovna that Maya Stepanovna said that Anna Ivanovna's manicurist is um, offering imported goods? So if Zinaida could just maybe... I can't tell Zinaida Mikhailovna anything because she's left. Where's she going? With her lover to the Caucasus, where they'll be living in a new home. If he's not lying, of course. 
What do you mean, her lover? <gasps> well, well, well. And you're talking about this so calmly. You're um, <clears throat> an original person. Ulyana Andreevna, you're disturbing me. Oh, well, excuse me. You are a character, Comrade Timofeyev. If I was in Zinaida Mikhailovna's place, I would have left too. If you were in Zinaida Mikhailovna's place, I would hang myself. <gasps> you wouldn't dare slam the door in a lady's face, you jerk! Anton Semyonovich Spark. Well, what the hell? Let's uh, visit Spark. Ah, what an amusing lock. Somehow I have not seen uh, one of these for a while. No, wait. The widow on Kalanina Street had one of these. It was number six, I think. Do you know, he's probably sitting in his office and thinking, what a wonderful lock I've installed on my door. But in reality, a lock serves only one purpose. To show that the owner is not home. Oh, oh, what beautiful furniture. And I've made a good choice. Ooh. And he has his own telephone. How convenient, and what a tidy man. He's even written down his work phone. Well, as he's uh, written it down, I'm obliged to call him, make sure there aren't any uh, misunderstandings. <clears throat> Department of Long Distance Transportation. Merci. Extension 51. Merci. Comrade Spock. Merci. Comrade Spock. Bonjour, Comrade Spock. Uh, will you be in the office until the end of the day? Who's speaking? Oh, I'm an actress. No, you don't know me, but I'm dying to meet you. Oh, you... Be until four. I'll call again. I'm very persistent. No, I'm a blonde. Controller. Well, bye. <clears throat> well, he was terribly surprised. Well, let's get to work. Sheffield's wool. Oh. It fits like a glove. Do you know, <clears throat> in three years that I've been away from Moscow, what nice things everyone's got now. It makes me love my work. Beautiful gramophone and a hat, my size. Good day. Whoa. Oh, no, I'm tired. I wonder what uh, brew he uses. Good. Vodka. No, 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 not absinthe. What a cosy room he has. And he loves to read. <clears throat> Without rest, Ivan the Terrible reveled with his brave retinue by Mother Moscow. A row of tables with golden ladle shine. A row of rakish guards sit before them. Glorious poem, a beautiful poem. Long live these guards of mine.
play louder on the strings, songbird bards. Oh, I, I like this poem. <clears throat> Distance transportation. Mercy. Extension 51. Mercy. Conrad Spark. Mercy. Conrad Spark. Oh, it's me again. Tell me, how do you brew your vodka? Oh, my name is a secret. From the Bolshoi Theatre. Oh, what a surprise I've got for you. Without rest, Ivan the Terrible revels with his brave retinue by Mother Moscow. <coughs> well, he'll be terribly surprised. <coughs> A row of tables with golden ladles shine. Ah, oh, it's lighting up. It's working. Now this is a different story. I put unbelievable effort into bringing culture into this house. I equip him with a radio, but he stubbornly refuses to use it. Ah, whoever it is, come in and go to hell. As if I haven't had enough already. Nikolai Ivanovich, it's me. I see that, Ivan Vasilovich. I'm surprised at you. At your age, you should be at home looking after your grandkids. But you wander the house all day with a worn-out book. I'm busy, Ivan Vasilovich. Excuse me. This is the apartment record book. I don't have any grandchildren, and if I stop walking around, something terrible will happen. National collapse? It will collapse if no one pays for their apartment. People in our building think it's fine if you don't pay. But actually, it isn't. Besides, this apartment block amazes me. Walking across the yard makes me shudder. All the windows are open. Everyone is lying on their window sills and talking such nonsense that I don't even want to repeat. By God, I don't understand you at all. You need treatment. Your princeship. Nikolai Ivanovich, don't call me a prince. I've already proven with supporting documents that a year before my birth, my father went abroad, which follows that I am obviously the son of our coachman, Pantelai. And I look like him too. Well, if you're a coachman's son, even better. But I don't have any money right now, Ivan Pantelevich. No. Address me according to my documents. Ivan Vasilovich. Uh, fine, fine. I implore you, pay for the apartment. And I'm telling you, I don't have any money right now. My wife's just left me and you torment me. If I might ask, why haven't you informed me of this? Because it's none of your business. It's my business that she should be immediately deregistered. She asked me to keep her registered. Even so, I've got to make a record of this event. Let me sit down. Oh, there's no point in you sitting down. How am I meant to explain to you that you shouldn't bother me while I'm working? Yes, explain to me. I'm a progressive man. Yesterday, I attended a lecture for superintendents and I received a colossal benefit from it. I understood almost everything. It was about the stratosphere. Anyway, superintendents' lives are very interesting, and we put them to good use, but this is not understood in our building. 
when you speak, Ivan Vasilovich, I get the impression you're delirious. Our residents are generally very strange. Spack buys mahogany all the time, but doesn't like to pay rent. And you've made an incomprehensible machine. Uh, this is torture, it really is. I beg you, Nikolai Ivanovich, you need to declare your machine. It needs to be registered. The ladies are already saying that you're building a machine that will turn the whole building to rubble. And you know, that y you'll die. A and I'll die with you, for company. And what bitch has been talking such nonsense? I'm sorry, it was Ulyana Andreevna, my wife. Oh, so it's your fault. Why do these ladies talk nonsense? I know that you're to blame, you old fool. Hanging around the whole house, spying, slandering, and most importantly, lying. After these vicious accusations, I'm leaving the apartment and heading to the police. As a personage holding the role of superintendent, I have responsibilities. I have to keep watch. Wait! Forgive me. I got carried away. Um, fine, come here. It's simple. I'm experimenting with travelling through time. Yes, come to think of it, how do I explain to you what time is? You do not know what four-dimensional space or movement is. And anyway, to summarise, this machine will not only not explode, but will be of extraordinary use to the nation. Uh, come on, it's a bit more simple. Right now, I, for instance, want to penetrate through space into the past. Penetrate space? You can perform such an experiment only with the permission of the police. As a superintendent, I am troubled by such experiments in the building entrusted to me. The mysterious machine should be, a uh, Oh, it should be... It should be put under lock and key. What? Key? Ivan Vasilovich, thank you, thank you, you're a genius! Key? I'm an absent-minded blockhead. I've been working at a locked mechanism. I'm uh, wait, just watch it. Look at this. Uh, let's try a close distance, uh, acute angle. Uh, look, we're about to travel through space into time. Back in time. Uh, did you see that? God, what the, what the hell is this? Nikolai Ivanovich, where's the wall? Oh, success! Finally! Oh, I'm beside myself. Is this it? This is... it! There's an unknown citizen in Spack's room. Oh, I apologise. What's the problem? What's going on? I say, that there was a wall here just now. Nikolai Ivanovich, you'll be answering for this... wall to the law. What a machine you've made. The after apartments disappeared. Oh, go to the devil with your wall. Nothing will happen to it. I, I've seen miracles of technology, but never anything like this. Oh, God. My head is spinning. I've done it. I've done it. Oh, humanity. What awaits you? I apologise. And who would you be? Who would I be, you ask? i Waiting for my friend Spark. How is it that you are waiting for him, but the door is locked from the outside? What's that you say? The lock? Oh, oh yes, he's gone to the corner shop to buy the news. As for me, he, well, he locked me in. Go to the devil, both of you! What banal questions! Do you understand? I pierced through time! What I've been aiming for all this... time! Tell me, this, it appears, can remove any wall just like that? Your invention is priceless, citizen. I congratulate you. Uh, why do you look at me like that, old man? As far as I know, I'm not speaking Swedish. Perhaps I've grown an extra head? A dark suspicion torments me. You're wearing exactly the same suit that Spack does. What are you suggesting? My suit? Does Spack own the only striped suit in all of Moscow? We're friends. 
and we always buy fabric at the same shop. Does that reassure you? The hat's the same too. And hats. What's your name, please? I'm an artiste of large state and chamber theatres. What do you need my name for? It's too famous for me to tell you. And the chain's exactly the same as Spack's. What an obtrusive person. My hat, my chain, it's... This is repulsive. Without rest, I have in the terrible revels. Uh, please leave the citizen alone. Uh, uh, perhaps you'd like to return to Schwack's room? Uh, I'll open the wall for you. Uh, no way. He's offended me now. Actually, he went for the newspaper and disappeared. He might wander for two hours. I'd rather observe the experiment. I like it very much. Oh, I'm very glad. Uh, you have been the first to see... Uh, you are, how to say, the first witness. <laughs> well, I've never been a witness before. How very pleasant. How he looks at me. You'll bore a hole right through me. Ah, that's our superintendent. Ah, oh, then that's all clear. The hat, the chain. Ah, what a repulsive duty. If only you knew how much trouble I've had from them, citizen scientist. Now don't worry about him. You're right. Uh, you understand, citizen artiste. That... Well, what's not to understand? Tell me, you can disappear the wall just like that? In a, well, a, sh a shop, too? A, a, a fascinating experience. Did you arrive at Spax with the gramophone? I can't deal with this. What's with you, hmm? Are you going to leave him alone or not? Understand, it's not about the wall. That's just the first movement. The thing is that besides all these walls, I can travel through time. Do you understand me? I can move 20, 30 years forwards or backwards. Why not 300? No, the world has not known such an invention. Oh, I'm too worked up. My wife left me today, but understand. Ah. Oh, citizen professor, don't get upset. Anyone would marry you. Screw her for leaving you. I've already removed her registration. And screw you. Without rest, I've in the terrible rebels. Oh, what an invention. Lift it, enter, exit, close it. <laughs> My hands are shaking. I can't wait. Uh, would you like to travel to the past? Uh, would you like to see ancient Moscow? Uh, does the thought not scare you? Does it not agitate you? Nikolai Ivanovich, come to your senses before you make such experiments in a communal building. If you meddle in the experiments of the citizen academic one more time, what I'll do to you what a nuisance. Roll on. To the leader. To the leader. Of the heavenly village. The saintly Abbot Cosma. Cause, mm, ah. Uh, the Tsar and Grand Duke Ivan Vasilievich of all Russia. Of all Russia. Bows low. Oh my god, look! Why, this is Ivan! Holy hell! <laughs> Be gone! Get thee away! Alas, me a sinner! Woe to me, a curse, foul murderer, be gone! Let's, I'm in the terrible, where are you going? Stop! Oh my god, they will see him! Hold him! And who are you calling? I'm calling the police! Get your hands off that receiver or I'll smack them right off your wrists! Can't you live without the police for a single second? Where are the demons? Get them! Where's the Tsar? I don't know! Help! Oh, shut off the machine! Shut it down! Oh, demons! Shut it off! The, get the key! The key! And that's it! What a 
have you done with the machine? He locked himself in the attic. Help me get him out of there. God, where are they? Huh? They moved the arrow in the opposite direction? They were carried away? Oh, what now? Buncher! Buncher! Ivan Vasilovich! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. And now that Ivan is yelling from the attic! But the key! Where is the key? God, they pulled out the key! Oh, what to do, I ask? What to do, eh? No key. Well, yes, they pulled out the key. Ivan Vasilovich! Uh, what? Uh. Why did why did you take out the key? Ah, well, then you shouted. Ah, Thank you. Oh, they took the key with them. Oh, shall I bring him back down? Something has been bothering me ever since that blonde from the Bolshoi Theater called. Oh, I couldn't stay at work. <gasps> oh, 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 jeez! Oh, Lord, oh, Lord! P police, police, at ten in Bonnet Lane. A grandiose theft, comrade. Why, who was robbed? Me, of course. Spock. Y yes, Spock. Spock is my last name. <laughs> the blood robbed me. Comrade Chief. Comrade Chief, that's the radio plane. Oh, my coat and my shoes. Why are you angry? Are you listening? Well, well, I'll run to you now myself. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. Lord Almighty! Shh! Quiet, quiet. Please don't shout. I beg you. It'll be unfortunate for us, and in any case, there would be a scandal. And I'm losing my mind myself, but I'm trying to keep myself together. Oh, there is a weight upon me. Pray, speak once more. Are you a demon? Oh, for God's sake, I explained to you in the attic that I'm not a demon. Oh, don't lie. You lie to the Tsar, not by human desire, but by God's will, is the Tsar's title given. Very good. I understand that you are the Tsar, but for now I ask you to forget it. I will not call you Tsar, but simply Ivan Vasilovich. Believe me, it's for your own good. Alas me! Ivan Vasilovich? Alas, alas! I understand why you despair. True, this is a painful turn of events, but who could have predicted such a catastrophe? After all, they took the key with them. I can't send you back right now. And do you understand? They're both there now at yours. What will happen to them? To get them, their heads will be cut off and that will be that. What do you mean, heads cut off? Oh God, I've led two men to their demise. This is unthinkable. This is monstrous. You drink vodka. Oh, woe is me. Uh, yes, with a niece. Uh, I don't have any anise vodka. Drink some Oakwood Mountain. You'll get your strength back and feel more like yourself. Me too. Drink. You drink from my goblet first. Why? Uh, oh yes, you're implying I want to poison you. Uh, dear Ivan Basilovich, that's simply not done here. And in any case, in our era, it's much easier to poison someone with tin sardines than vodka. Drink. Well, to your health. I humbly thank you. What is your name, sorcerer? My name is Timofeyev. Prince? Prince? 
What prince? We only have one prince for all of Moscow, and he asserts that he's the son of a coachman. <laughs> ah, the bastard. No, but when I think what they're doing over there, it drives me crazy. Drink. Here, have a little bit of ham. But it is a day of fast. Uh, well, sardines then? Is this vodka made by your housekeeper? Sure, uh, let there be a housekeeper. So then, you made this contraption. Oh, ho, ho. I also had one like you. Made himself some wings, ha! <laughs> and so? I put him on a barrel of gunpowder. Let him fly then. Now, is that really necessary? <laughs> and so you live here. These chambers are cramped. Ah, yes. There's nothing to speak of in these chambers. So where is your uh, boyarina? A church, is that it? I doubt it. My boyarina ran away to the Caucasus with a lot of yakin today. You lie. Honest to God. Is there a manhunt? When you find them, yakin's head should be put on a spike. That's for a start. No, but why? But again, <coughs> no. They love each other. Let them be happy. There is truth to that, too. You are a kind man. Oh, Lord, I'm stuck here. But the Swedes are invading. Boya, search for the key. Send me back. Please understand. I would run to the locksmith now, but I don't have a single penny. I gave everything to my wife. What? You need money. Gold? We're saved. I'll run to the jewellers now, then to the locksmith. He'll make the key and we'll unlock the machine. I shall accompany you. Uh, onto the street? Oh no, Ivan Vasilovich, that's impossible. Uh, you stay here and don't draw attention to yourself. I'll lock you in, and if someone knocks, don't open the door. Uh, but no one will come anyway, thanks to Yakin, who's stolen my wife away. In short, wait for me and sit quietly. I'll be back in an hour. Be good. I've committed a grave sin. Spare me, O oh Lord, spare me. Miracle workers of Moscow. Comrade Timofeyev, forgive me that I dare to bother you again in your time of um, <clears throat> family drama. So is Ivan Vasilovich visit yours? I'm, I've searched the whole house for him. Comrade Timofeyev, you don't have the right to stay silent. You, Comrade Timofeyev, are an, an uncultured person. That's what the life-giving cross can do. What a bastard! Everything is ruined! And as for me, why would I tell everything to this saintly man? Well, of course his grief has made him drink. Oh, yes, he's been drinking, and the gramophone. Where did this gramophone come from? Well, it is a nice gramophone. Oh. Nicky, are you home? Oh, I don't understand at all. There's been, been some kind of orgy here. He's probably gone out for more vodka. Who was he drinking with? Trousers? Oh, I simply don't understand. And so, I'm back here again, deceived in the most impudent way. Zena, it's me. What? You? Oh, go away! Zenaida Mikhailovna, are you alone? Open the door, I beg you. On principle, I don't open the door to jerks. Zena, I beg you, Zena, I'll explain... Everything, Zena. Hear me out. Zinoshka, what's wrong? Why did you run away? I, I don't understand. Oh, Cubs, Velovich, you are a jerk. Oh, Lord, what words, Zinoshka. This is all a misunderstanding. I swear on the film studio. Misunderstanding? He'll explain. Oh. 
I abandon my husband. That saintly man is now out boozing like devils knows what, and I leave a wonderful place to live. I break up with a person who prayed to me, put me on a pedestal, a genius inventor, to go to this bastard and... Athena, what words! Oh, you haven't heard anything yet. And less than two hours before we leave, I find an unknown woman at his. Zina! Who he's gently holding by the hand. Zinoshka, I was testing out a scene with her. It was my professional responsibility. <gasps> to grab her by the waist? Oh no, you'll answer for that. Zinaida Mikhailovna, comrades, what is this? Out! Zinaida, understand, it was for her part. And she has a snub nose. What? They're going to film her? A small role. A teeny, tiny little role. I I can't shoot a film without a snub nose. And then, if I may, you hear me. The director! Oh, you can film snub-nosed girls or girls with no noses, whatever you want. But I've had enough. I'm going to Kasoy, who's filming Boris Godunov. Kasoy is a hack. He won't film anything. Excuse me, but it's been confirmed. And I'm going to play the Tsarina. I'm not interested in your picture anymore. Oh, but you don't understand. He's got no one to play Ivan the Terrible. The picture is going to get held up to all hell. And then you'll remember me, Zenaida. No, Ivan. Oh, well, excuse me, but I've already been rehearsing with him. Where were you rehearsing? Here, of course, in my apartment. And when we got to the part where Boris is declared Tsar, Kasori, even though he's a tough guy, cried like a child. You've been rehearsing behind my back? Th- this is betrayals in either. Who's playing Tsar Boris? Who? What do you mean, Sir Boris? Boriska? Oh, Lord! What is this? Why, you're actually rehearsing. Oh, God, what a type. Who's that? Boris for Sir. That's how the sly dog repays me for my benevolence. He wanted to be Sir himself and rule all. He must die for his transgression. Oh, bravo. Oh, God. Yakin, explain. Yakin, hide me. Well, all right. Boris, will have a little talk with the executioner yet. What for did you offend the boy arena peasant? Brilliant. Astounding. I've never seen anything like this. I don't recognise you in makeup. Who are you? And allow me to introduce myself. Carp Yakin. You do a pretty good Ivan the Terrible. Why don't you come round to the studio tomorrow? I'm going to make you a star. Ah, you vagabond! Fatal boil! Bravo, Zinaida! How on earth did you hide this from me? Excuse me? What's with this? Are you nuts? That's enough! Neil Worm! Now you have crossed the line. This is hooliganism. Clearly I've lost my mind. Who are you? Who are you? Prince Timofey have come to me. I've caught the offender, that son of a bitch, Yakin. Help! Citizens! Anyone? Help! Who is he? Robber! There's a robber in my apartment. Wait. No. Oh, God, I understand. That's the real Sar... Nicky's experiment worked. Say your prayers, Serpent Son. I beg you, release him. If you want to live, beg before the boy arena. Mercy. Rise, scum. I, I ask of you, what, what is this? A citizen, save me from this bandit. Are you rehearsing, Zenaida Mikhailovna? Re- rehearsing? Oh, yes. <laughs> What kind of rehearsal it- Citizen! What? Kiss the hand! Who raised you, bastard? Hand? I didn't ch- 
Oh, okay. Okay. I implore you, sit. Oh, um, how naturally you play the role. Uh, he fits the czar perfectly. Looks a little bit like our Buncha. Except that the other one has a more foolish face. I've been robbed, Zenaida Mikhailovna. <laughs> Wait, uh, what do you mean, robbed? Picked clean, Zenaida Mikhailovna. Excuse me, citizens, but did anyone meet a blonde from the Bolshoi Theatre on the stairs w with some packages? It's all her doing. What a little house we have, Zenaida Mikhailovna. Are you in pain, good man? Oh, citizen artiste, how could I not be? What did they take from you? A gramophone, cigarette case, a lighter, clock, my coat, my shoot, my, my hat. Everything that I have earned through superhuman exertion, all oh, Zen and God. <laughs> so whose would you be? I apologize. What do you mean, who's? I, I don't understand. Who's, who's surf are you, I ask? Oh, God, where is this going? Oh, Shpak, oh, this is strange enough already. Take it, sir, and sing the praise of the Tsar and Grand Prince Ivan Vasilievich. Oh, there's no need. What are you doing? Uh, excuse me, excuse me, but what, what is all this? Surf this? Surf that? Well, what kind of surf am I to you? What kind of word is that? <laughs> He's joking. Well, you know, you can go to the people's court for jokes like that. And I don't need your money. <clears throat> it's a fake. What? You would refuse a gift from the Tsar, you crafty peasant. He's just acting. Just acting. What? what? Oh. Well, his acting is abusive, and I ask him not to practice on me. Until we meet again, Zenaida Mikhailovna. And I'm not glad I dropped by. Where is Ivan Vasilievich? I want him to testify about the horrible <laughs> robbery in my apartment. <laughs> Hear me out, please, Cobb. I beg you, calmly. This is the real Ivan the Terrible. Don't stare like that! Your house, Zinaida, is an insane asylum. Oh, no, 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 this is Nicky's doing. I told you about his machine, that he wanted to call up the past or the future. And he's transported the Tsar from the past. Delirious ravings. I'm getting pretty close to losing it. Comrades, what is this? What? What? Are you telling the truth? I swear. Really? In our age? In Moscow? No, the, the, he's dead. Who's dead? I'm, I'm not talking about you. S somebody else. Someone else who died, who... D I need a doctor. It appears I have gone insane. He could have cut me up. Come forth. Come forth and answer. How long until you? I, I, I beg you, please don't, don't take out your sword. I, I must be dreaming. Zenaida, call someone, anyone, save me. What has he singled me out for? Where is your husband? Let him take this man away. Was it you that seduced the boy Arena? It was me. Please, on my life. <laughs> Foul dog. What life? Look at thyself. Oh, evil spouse, the devil give thee a long sleep, a gaping dream, a headache with a hangover, and other malice immeasurable and inscrutable. Oh, I'm, I'm lost. Zinaida, can't you tell me something at all? Slavonic, your husband doesn't have the right to carry out such experiments. Uh, oh, hark, hark, hear the cherubim forsooth, <laughs> your majesty, mercy. Confess, lustful boy. I confess. Ah, uh, just, just don't kill him. Bow thy foul head. 
and fall at the honest feet of the boy arena thee hast seduced. With pleasure. You have misunderstood me. Misunderstood. How should I understand you when you say nothing? I, I am not as skilled in tongues, your majesty. Am I dreaming or waking? Who was this snub-nosed wench of yours? That was for a scene, I swear, on the film studio. Tonight and Mikhail of the misunderstood. Do you love the boy arena? Madly, truly. How could one not love her? She is beauty itself. White of skin, scarlet lipped, smooth of brow, ample in figure. What else do you need, you dog? Oh, nothing else. Nothing. Then marry, drunkard. The prince has released her. I ask for your hand, Zena. You're not fooling me again, Carp. I've been cheated so many times. I swear on the film studio. Swear before Sergei of Radonezh. I swear before his sainthood, Sergei of Radonezh. Listen here, many sinned knave. If perchance I hear once more of your wickedness, then I'll. Ooh, I'll. No, no, I swear on Sergei. Do not interrupt the Tsar. Because you have no estate, I grant you one in Kostroma. Another minute here, and I'll be taken away to the madhouse. I'll be leaving soon. Anywhere. Take me away. Dearest sir, it's time for our train. Godspeed. And forgive me, I don't mean to bother you, but I don't understand how Nicky could have overlooked... Well, you can't stay here looking like this. Someone might see you. Oh, Lord Almighty, I've, I've forgotten where I am. Forgotten. Uh, just don't be offended. I suggest you get changed. Uh, but I don't understand. Where are these clothes from? Cobb, help him. Allow me. I'll help you. Please, let's go behind the screen. Ah, shameless garbs of temptation. I'll write a note to Nikolai Ivanovich while I wait. Do you have any suspenders? Stay away. <laughs> yes, I know. Nicky, I came back. But I'm leaving again. That Yakin has proposed to me. Keep me registered, Zena. <sighs> much better. Gosh, how much he looks like our buncher. Oh, he just needs the glasses. Oh, Zenaida, here are the glasses. I highly recommend that you wear the glasses. Oh, the spitting image. I spit upon you. Oh, well, let us thank you. You are a very temperamental person. I need to stay here. Oh, God. What is this enchanted goosley? Oh, let me show you. That is a gramophone. No one asked you. Understood. Don't oh, shut up. Oh, it's very simple. You put the little needle here and then spin. There, you see? Sit here and listen, and Nicky will come soon and help you. What is this? My thoughts are all jumbled. Gramophone? Nicky? The Ivan the Terrible? Stop worrying. Okay, so he's Ivan. Okay, the terrible. What of it? Well, au revoir. G goodbye. Oh, but this is happiness after all. Kiss me. Madness. 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 No, I swear on Sergei and Red Dinesh. Where are you hiding? Is anyone there? Uh, have you seen Ivan Vasilovich? 
I beg your pardon. The house searched top to bottom for him. The plumbers came, then left. His loving wife is left to go do the shopping by herself, and here he is, in someone else's apartment. Getting drunk! What's wrong with you? Are, are you stupid? Spack's been robbed. Spack is running around looking for you, and here you are! Why don't you speak? God, what are you wearing? What, what is this? Have you, have you ever seen anything like this? Has he got carbon monoxide poisoning or something? Oh, oh God, there's a hole in the back of your trousers. Were you fighting with someone or some thing? Why do you turn away from me? No, please show me your bruises. <gasps> Doves and pigeons. Who do you look like? You've gone cross-eyed from drinking. God, I can barely even recognise you. You should leave here, yes? What do you mean, leave? Look at yourself in a mirror. Look in a mirror. Oh, leave me, old woman. I am filled with sorrow. Old woman. How twisted your tongue is. The, the cheek of it. I'm five years younger than you. No. You're lying to me. Tell my fortune, old one. My fortune oh, with the Swedes. What is this? Where is he? Oh, Ivan Vasilovich, what kind of superintendent are you? Oh, look what's happened to my room. Uh, no, you look what happened to my little duff. Oh, he's so drunk he can't even stand on his feet. Oh, what a superintendent. A man is robbed, robbed, to his last shred, and he's here drinking Oakwood Mountain. I've been robbed by that actress! You're here again! I'm sick of you! Wh what are you saying, sick of? Wh we don't need a superintendent like you! Oh, God, return to your senses, bandit! They'll, they'll strip you of your responsibilities! Eh, you are a witch! You hooligan! I'll teach you a lesson! Help me! My husband is beating a cultured woman! Ivan Vasilovich, uh, calm yourself. Uh, show you get drunk. Your nervous disposition goes out the window. I understand that. But uh, I, I didn't think you'd be like this. I, I thought you were a mild person. And, and I, I admit, under her heel... <laughs> But, but you're an eagle. Which? Oh, in all honesty, yes, yes, you're right. It's actually good that you uh gave her a that that you were strict with her. I, I have business with you, Ivan Basilovich. What do you need? <clears throat> uh, here's the list of stolen goods, dear Comrade Buncha. I ask you to be my witness. Uh, I've had two suits, two coats, two clocks, two cigarette cases, all stolen. It's written all down here. A petition? For the Tsar? Uh, oh, oh, Ivan Vasilovich, uh, you write it out. I understand. Just please don't be hooliganic. I am tired of you. What were you robbed of? Speak. Two gram, that is, one gramophone. Well, take the gramophone, then choke. Tired. Uh, excuse me, but, but how, how? This is not mine, but just like mine. And anyway, uh, excuse me, but, but what about the rest? And I need you to sign. But I offered you coin. And you did not take it! Fool! Oof, totally drunk. What coins? You didn't offer me any money. That was all fake. Come back to your senses, Ivan Vasilovich. We'll submit a collective complaint against you. Ah, you cannot be quieted. I see that. Uh, are you actually possessed by demons? <laughs> Help! The superintendent is cutting a resident! What's going on here? Where is he? Who dressed you like that? 
How did you let him in? I told you, don't open the door to anyone. Look, Nikolai Ivanovich and our superintendent. Guards, guards. You know what? I'm, I'm calling the police. <laughs> Stop or we'll both die. I'm going to the police right now. Prince, he should be whipped. I beg you, wait. That isn't Buncha. What do you mean, not Buncha? <laughs> That's Ivan the Terrible, the real Tsar. Wait, wait, I'm sane, I think. I beg you, don't go to the police. This is my experiment, my time machine. I brought him here. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you a secret. I know you're a decent person. But, mm -hmm. but don't end my experiment. A scandal would kill everything. I'll send him back right now. I just need to put in the key. Uh, the key. Uh, do you promise not to tell? Give your honest word. Um, uh, if I may. <clears throat> uh, that's the czar? Tsar, uh, yes. Oh, what going on? Quiet. Later, everything will be explained. Later. Uh, give your word that you won't tell a single- Oh, my honest word. On my honor. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. Why did you open the doors? I told you not to open them. Why didn't you beat him around the face? Why, Ivan Vasilovich, no one needs... In the face. Oh, for God's sake, quiet, quiet. Here's the key, let's try it now. Oh, damn, my hands are shaking. Damn, it's nothing too big. Oh, all right, all right, I'll send it down. But the coin, it was real, it seems. Ha <laughs> ha Police, police. This is Spock. Yes, the Spock who was robbed today. Yes, that is my real name. No, no, don't get angry. I'm not calling about the robber. We have another little case here. A more clear-cut one. Engineer Timofeyev has summoned Ivan the Terrible into his room. The Tsar... No, I don't drink. With a sword? Oh, if only you could see it. I give my honest word. You know what? I'll run to you myself. Right now. Devil take you with these experiments. So that's how it is. Comrade Timofey, Comrade Timofey, as a superintendent, I demand the immediate termination of this experiment. Help! Where are we? Stop yelling! You've been sent into where Ivan the Terrible came from. It can't be. I protest. Well, we are here now. What can we do? We're just seeing things. None of this is real. Nikolai Ivanovich, you'll answer for your anti-Soviet experiment. You are an idiot! Oh, how they yell! They can't yell. This is a trick of the eyes and ears. Like religion. They died a long time ago. I beg for an end to this disturbance. They, they are dead men! Did you see how the dead men shoot? That is, if I may, you're suggesting that they can inflict violence upon us? Oh no, that is not what I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting that they're going to send us straight to hell! Could this be real? Nikolai Ivanovich, can you call the police? No number, oh to die in the prime of one's life! All Jan Andrew will be in shock! I didn't tell her where I went, the blood chills in my veins! Open up, you dog. Who's he talking to? You. I ask you not to insult. I am not a dog. You do not exist, understand? This is an experiment of Engineer Timofeyev. <laughs> By the name of my residence, please spare me. Ah, yeah. clothes. The Tsar's clothes. Hurrah, we're in luck. Open up, we'll torch the palace. Quick, put on the Tsar's gown or we're done for. The experiment has crossed the line. Put it on, or I'll kill you. Oh, 
way. You look just like him. My God, just like him. Oh, no, no, don't. The profile ruins it. You, you put on his cap. Now, you'll be the Tsar. Not for anything. What? Do you want them to kill me because of you? Sit at that table. Take the scepter. Now, let's tie up your jaw like you have toothache, as you don't really look like... Oh, what a hack job. It'll never work. The other one had a more intelligent face. I ask you not to comment on my face. Shut up. Sit down. You have state work to do. Now, where did they get up to? Tsar and Grand Prince repeat after me of all Russia. Tsar and Grand Prince of all Russia. It, you were saying Tsar and Grand Prince. I've written it, comma. Where has that secretary got to? What is the problem, comrades? I said, dear ones, what is the problem? What parasite dare break down the door to the Tsar's rules? Was that what they were made for? To be beaten down? Please continue, Your Majesty. Bows low, semicolon. I'm still waiting for an answer to my question. The Tsar's here? Well, where else would he be? Maybe you should put down your weapons, my doves. I don't care for them. Oh, please don't punish us, great sire. The demons seized you and we followed to, to, to apprehend them, but, but there are no demons here. Oh, demons there were, I won't deny that, but they have been liquidated. I ask you to cease this inane panic. Who are you? Uh, Fedka, the clerk of foreign affairs. I, I write for, for the Tsar. Uh, come here, and the rest, I ask, cleared out of the Tsar's quarters. In short, everybody out. Look, you scared the Tsar. Out! Yell at them or they won't listen. Uh, out! <laughs> Oh, that's enough riding around. Bow once, bow twice. That's enough. Oh, don't gaze upon me like a wolf upon a lamb. We have angered you, sire. I think that you will be forgiven. Uh, why, sire? Has your jaw been bandaged? <gasps> Are you ailing? Oh, don't sit there like a blockhead. Help me out. My teeth ache. I have an abscess. It's a periocitis. Stop bothering, Tsar. Understood. <laughs> Fedya, stop bowing, or you'll be toppling like that until evening. Let's be acquainted. And now, why are you gawking at me like that? Um, don't be angry, Bayard. I don't recognize you. <clears throat> or are you a prince? All right, I'll be a prince. What of it? Oh, where did you come from? Into the Tsar's palace. You weren't here before, were you? Tsar, sire, who is this? Oh, please don't keep me in suspense. He's the friend of Anton Semyonovich Spak. No, idiot. You don't hear a name like that much, even among superintendents. He's not going to have heard of Spak. But, well, yes, in other words, I am Prince Miloslavsky. Does that satisfy you? <sighs> Get away! Be gone! What now? Unholy forces again? <laughs> What's wrong? But, 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 but you were executed just the other day! Now that is news to me! Stop talking nonsense. Executed how? Oh, here we go. Uh, you were hung on your own gates, on order of the Tsar. Well, thank you. Seems I wasn't lucky with my surname. I've been hanged. Help me out or we'll be found out. Don't just sit there, bastard. No, now I remember. No, it wasn't me they hanged. What was his name again? 
Vanka. The thief. Uh, uh. Well, whereas I, on the other hand, am George. That bandit's my cousin. But I didn't associate with him quite the reverse. I am beloved by the Tsar and very close to him. What do you say to that? Ah, that's how it is. And I was thinking, you do look like him, but, but not by much. How did you end up here? Oh, Clark Fedya, how curious you are. You should be serving in criminal investigations. I arrived on a whim as a surprise, exactly when the whole mess with the demons began. Well, of course, I went to the palace where I bravely defended the Tsar. Oh, glory be to you, Prince! And everything is as it should be. Oh, what are they yelling for again? Uh, run along, Fedusco, see what's going on. Oh, Lord, where am I? What am I? Who am I? Nikolai Ivanovich! Oh, cut the hysterics. <laughs> the guards wish to see the rescued Tsar! They're celebrating! Uh, no. Not happening. There's no time. There's no time. We can celebrate later. Now, they need to be sent away somewhere fast. We won't speak the damn fool. Hey, Fedinka, is there not some kind of war on? Uh, what do you mean, kind sir? The Crimean Khan and the Swedes are cutting us up. The Horde are stirring up trouble on the Azumski Highway, too. What? How could you allow this? I'm sorry. Oh, rise, Fedor, I don't blame you. I tell you what. Sit and write the Tsar's decree. Write, the guards should be sent to smash the Crimean Khanate at the Izumski Highway, period. Period. Please sign it, your majesty. My position as superintendent doesn't give me the right to sign such documents. Right! Oh, what have you written, you blockhead? Superintendent? And you stamped it! What an ass! Right, Ivan the Terrible! There you are. Um, I can't make out this word. Uh, what word? The? Ah, that would be the T E terrible. Terrible? Fedka, why do you have to question every word? What? Is he not terrible, in your opinion? He doesn't terrify you? Isn't it about time you yelled at him, your majesty? Stomp your feet. Why doesn't he listen to you? How dare you? Ow! Ow! Ah, I finally recognize you. Oh, oh, it's really you, Tsar. Sire. What did I tell you? You should tell them they shouldn't hurry back. What other errand should we give them? They are singing some rowdy song, a tale of bygone days, and, and the capture of Kazar. Well, tell them that they should take Kazar on the way back, you know, save the extra trip. Uh, uh, how do I say this, sire, without angering you, but, uh, Kazar is ours? We captured it long, long ago. Now, do you jump the gun there? Well, as you've already taken it, nothing we can do. Well, not like we can give it back, but can we? No, we'll, we'll go on. Um, and I don't want there to be a soul in here in five minutes. Well, we're getting somewhere, somehow. What will happen next, however is unclear. Why don't they turn the machine back on? I have to reveal to you a terrible secret. I took the key with me when everyone was panicking. Here it is. You should go to hell. All of this is your fault, you idiot. 
Oh, what will we do now? Oh, well, never mind. Be quiet. The clerk is coming. <sighs> They've gone. Your Majesty. They didn't protest? Great. What's next? Uh, the Swedish ambassador is here. Send him in. Grind it. Now. Sawyer. The Grau Pacauni Dench Fidation Coney Great Santanique. Simon Two and Diner, Sao Eman, Sao in Grand Prix, I even the scenery, show the music. They met the Hergy from Kim Scavalos, a DB room from the Yadiz, Vishi Arme, Irabire, Kat, Kavile, in Odnan, Rinde. Now, now, the foreign tourist speaks well. If only we could understand a word he is saying. We need a translator. Fedinka? Oh, well, we had a German interpreter, but we did boil him alive last week. Fedya, that's disgraceful. You can't treat translators like that. Reply to him, Your Majesty. Say anything. He's torn up, you see. I only know revolutionary phrases in other languages. I've forgotten everything else. Well, use those if you have to, or you won't say anything else. Like a dead fish on the throne. Please continue. I completely agree. The Frage von Kemskavo lost. Swedische army at sea Robert. The Global Colony, Deshu Deshu, Colony Zreike Zantemik, and that is their Ernest de Frage, Kemska, for lost. That's right. That, that's absolutely right. It would be interesting to find out in general terms what he's asking. That is to say, the idea, the point. I. Sadly, am not skilled in the Swedish language, and the Tsar isn't well. Uh, but, but, sir, he's speaking German. And yeah. he's not that hard to understand. Uh, they're asking for the Kamsky district. Uh, they want it, he says. No, give it here, he says. Well, why didn't you say so earlier? The, uh, Kamsky district. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, what's the problem? Let them have it. Go ahead. Jesus. And I was thinking. Oh, but but how could that be, kind sir? Well, who needs it? Take it. Take it. The Tsar approves it. Good? Oh, sweet Jesus. I need to make my star in my Vaterland, so you reckon? Uh, he asks whether he can journey back home. Oh, of course. Uh, let him set off today. Au revoir. Was behefelt die Tsar und Grand Prinz Ivan Vasilevich den großen König des Schwedischen hinterbringen? Um, he's asking, what should he convey to his king? Oh, my ardent greetings. I don't agree with giving ardent greetings to kings. It's against the collective. Why a busybody? Auf Wiedersehen. Bow to the king. Tell him not to send anyone. There's no need. Nisht. A pleasant person. There's currency in his pocket, I imagine. I'm collapsing under the weight of the crimes against the state that we have committed. Oh, God, what is poor Jana Andreevna doing now? She's probably gone to the police. She must be crying and moaning, and I'm lording about against my will. How can I show myself before the eyes of the community? <laughs> uh, what are you crawling around for, my good man? Oh, please spare me, sire. The kingly ambassador has lost the medallion on his chest. There are cut diamonds on it. Well, it's no good to be that scatterbrained. When he entered, he had it, but when he left, he didn't. 
Oh, that's always how it is. Well, at the theatre, it's like that in the bar. You need to look after things when you're out. Uh, why do you stare at me like that? It, it can't be that you think that, that I took it. Uh, of course not. Well, you didn't take it, did you? Maybe it fell behind the throne. It's not there. Oh, look under the table, too. It, it just isn't here. Oh, no. I cannot fathom where. Oh, what a misfortune. Today's events are more and more monstrous. What I would give right now for the medallion to appear and to announce that I have found it. What rejoicing there would be. <laughs> the patriarch wants to see you, sire. He is rejoicing. The longer the worse. Well, tell him we'll see him right away. What are you doing? I uh, can't be in a room with a cultist present. I'm ruined. Greetings, sire, to you this year and all years hereafter. With others we shall play on golden pipes, the sire. And Grand Prince appears before us as a ray of light and beautiful form. Our Sar, after being in the grasp of the demons, returns to us. You are given the strength of Samson, the bravery of Alexander, the wisdom of Solomon, and the kindness of David. All countries and human breath sing your glory, now, always. And for eternity. Bravo. Amen. There is nothing that I am able to add to your gleaming proclamation except one word. Amen. Do you see how you are welcomed? And you were whining. An honest to God resurrection, Father. Once again, I thank you, Father, in the name of the Tsar, and in my name also. And now, return to the cathedral, to your acolytes. You are completely and absolutely free, and we do not uh, require the choir. In case of an emergency, we'll shout. Oh, what's happened now? Oh, God is smiting us! The Patriarch has just lost the Panagi on his chest! Stolen? It can't be! Stolen! Well, now, this is mysticism of some kind. The things that go on round here, eh? The Panagia has gold on its four points, a ruby, and two emeralds. This is a disgrace. Two emeralds, you say? What will you bid me do, Prince? We hang thieves by the ribcage, but, but we can't find them at all. Now, now, why must you hang them by the ribs? Now, I'll tell you straight up that I'm against that. That's overkill, plain and simple. In case you want to know, Fedya, you've got to be gentle with thieves. Go to the Patriarch and be kind to him. Calm him down. What? Is he very upset? Frozen like a pole. Well, that is to be expected. But there are bigger shocks. Some of the things I've seen at the theatre... Dark <laughs> suspicions begin to torment me. Spuck's suit, the Ambassador's medallion, the Patriarch's panagia... What?! are you suggesting? I can't speak for anybody else, but I personally am incapable of stealing anything. My my hands are just not, not normal. I've had scans done of my fingers in five cities by experts, and they all contend that with fingers like this, a man cannot appropriate anything that isn't his. I, I, I even started to wear gloves because I was so sick of it. <gasps> the Tartar Prince Edige to see the Tsar! Uh, no, or I'll use up all the strength I have. I declare a break for lunch. 
The Tsar wishes to dine! It's like in a dream. Um, what's this? Uh, rabbit kidneys, pike heads with garlic, caviar, my lord? Anise vodka, state vodka, or cardamom, whichever you desire. What a beauty! Zah, let's have a round with something hot to eat. You wouldn't happen to have any oak, Oakwood Mountain, would you? Oakwood Mountain? Oh, come to me, guards of mine. But we sent them away, sire, prince. Oh, and rightly so that we sent them away to the swamp with them. I can't recall them without a feeling of disgust. All they know is hacking and chopping those axes. They're bandits, Fedger. Forgive me, your highness, for the offence, but those guards of yours are simply bandits. Nostrovia. It seems that... Under the effects of an alcoholic beverage, my nerves have calmed somewhat. Well, there we are. Uh, what about you, Fedya? Why are you huddling up by the kidneys? Have a drink, Fed Junior. Don't be shy. We're simple people, really. I, I developed an affection for you, I must admit. Without you, it, well, it'd be like I'd lost my hands. Let's drink together. We'll be friends. I'll teach you to go to the theatre. Oh, yes, your majesty, we'll have to build a theatre. I have already decided on a few events, and I've decided that we should start with the establishment of residential cooperatives. Please be merciful, your highness, but in my opinion, the theatre is far more important. I can hardly imagine what those guards are up to on the Azuma Highway right now. What do you think, Fedya? Do they, do they take rubies at your shops? Uh, the Serena wishes to see you, great sire. Well, well, I never... Now, now this I didn't see coming. I, I hope there won't be any misunderstandings with old Yana Andreevna. Between us, she is... She's against this sort of thing. Then again... To the devil with her! What am I? Scared of her or something? That's right! No, 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 you shouldn't have taken that off. Your physiognomy, frankly speaking, is not that of a czar. What? Excuse me, who do you think you're talking to? Oh, well done! Well, you should have talked like that before. Oh, my radiant one, my prince, my lord. Please, take pity upon your... Humble slave. With pleasure. Very pleased to meet you. Let me introduce you to my clerk and citizen Miloslavsky. I ask you to sit at our table. What are you on about? Don't take the parsne off, you worm! No, no, no! Hey, you! Bring the kidneys over for the Tsarina. Excuse me, your name isn't... Ulyana, is it? Um... I am Martha Fasilevna. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, now he's opened up. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were such a ladies' man. It's always the quiet ones. Have a glass of the cardamom, Martha Vasilevna. Oh, no, I shouldn't. We were just talking about an interesting subject. The question... Of the establishment of residential cooperatives. Oh, you're always in toil, great sire. Oh, it is like a bee. Another glass with the pike. Oi, what are you? Why are you looking at me like that? I know what you're thinking. You think I must be the son of a coachman or something like that. Confess! Ah. Confess, you knave! What son of a coachman? That was my own cunning. It was I who played them, dear Martha Vasilevna. What? Quiet! <laughs> Tell me, is there a private office here? Why, he's already carving up the place. And how quickly. And how deftly. I need to turn this situation around. Why, you silent citizens, make some noise for us.
What kind of musicians are these? You've all gotten out of hand without me! <laughs> oh, what, Fedushka? Don't you have any mineral water? Allow me to ask your hand for one dance, Marfa Vasilevna. Oh, oh, I'm embarrassed. Why, your majesty. I won't hear it! Never mind, Fedya, don't get upset. Okay, the Tsar's quarter. What of it? I don't have anyone either. Fancy a dance? No, no, I don't like the sound of that. Then what's going on? <laughs> it's terrible! The guards of our vault, they're coming back! They're shouting that the, the, the Tsar is a fake! They're saying he's a pretender! Oh, what have you done to me, you prick? Oh, I was dancing with a, with a fake! Oh, they're gonna send me to a nunnery! Oh, it will be the ruin of me! What do you mean, the guards? They were sent to the Izumski Highway. They didn't make it there, sire. They got suspicious. Turned around at the gates. What cockroach has spread this foul slant? Oh, the patriarch, sire. Oh. My dear autocrat, we're busted. I demand the dance go off. What do you mean, busted citizen? What do we do? Nikolai Ivanovich, help! Hurry, Ivan Vasilovich! God bless you. There they are. They're alive. We're alive. We're alive. Go, go, go. Be gone. Soon, soon, your highness. Don't worry. Ivan Vasilovich, do bear in mind, we gave the Kemsky district to the Swedes. Anyway, everything's in order. Him to the Swedes! How dare you, you serpent sons! I. Him to the Swedes! Where were you looking, you ah! serpent? My machine! My machine! You've destroyed it! What have you done? Why would you anger him? My invention is dead. There you are, you drunkard. Changing clothes, walking through walls. Who is she? Who are you seeing behind my back? Just the Tsarina, but... Ivan, the terrible, my living room. Changed science forever. <laughs> the Tsarina? I suppose that's what you call her. What about me? Your loving wife? Everyone, silence, silence! My machine, my creation is dead. And you're all talking about this nonsense. Yes, it was me. I made the experiment, but is this misery necessary? This blockhead superintendent showed up and took the key with him. An old pushover, a decrepit old prince, and he angered Ivan the Terrible. And now my machine is gone. And you're all talking about this rubbish. Are you done, citizen? I'm done. Then it is my scientific opinion that a massive drink is in order. After that, we can sort our czars from our superintendents. Past the Oakwood Mountain. National police, open up! There they are, comrades! Officers, look! We've had reports of burglary, battery, possession of a sword, impersonation of a historical figure, unlicensed rehearsing... He's got my suit! Alcoholism, adultery, fraud, and dimensional experimentation without the proper permits. I'm afraid you're all coming with us. I give myself into the hands of our national police with delight. I place my faith in you!
Aha! Are you the Tsar? Your papers, please, Your Highness. I admit I was the Tsar, but I was under the influence of Engineer Timofeyev's vile experiments. You see, I was crowned against my will by that idiot clerk and citizen Miloslavsky, who I suspect to be a thief. We know all about citizen Miloslavsky. What clerk? What are you talking about, you alcoholic? What kind of sorry even is this, comrade officer? He's the... Like, he's a superintendent of a residential cooperative. Oh, why would you listen to him, comrades? We were at the theatre. We're from the Ministry of Culture. Where'd such a cultured man get such jewellery? Well, gifts! This delightful necklace is from the Swedish ambassador, and the Panagia is from the Patriarch. The Patriarch? Of Moscow. Oh, don't you know? Lovely chap. Bit preachy. Your papers, please? Papers? What papers? What do you mean, papers? I'm Miloslavsky. George Miloslavsky. So you are in Moscow, after all? I won't hide it. I uh, arrived earlier than I expected. Well, on behalf of the National Police, welcome back. You're nicked. And at this point, the Tsar threw his clerk at your machine, destroying it completely. Yes! Years of ground-breaking research destroyed! At the drop of a clerk. You've been drinking, sir? Yes, with Ivan. The terrible. I heard. You have to believe me. But ask anyone. Ask Zinaida. She's my girlfriend. Well, was. She left me. But... I wonder why. Comrade Engineer, if this is true... It is! He drinks his vodka with a niece. Then you've been fraternising with a very dangerous foreign national who you thought that slip pulled from the past to threaten the very fabric of the Soviet Union, all without as much as a single permit. I'm dreaming. Any minute now, I'll wake up at my machine and Zenaida will be there and no more Ivans or superintendents or thieves or Oakwood Mountains. <laughs> 